Number 1. Crucial illegal road threatens Amazon rainforest. An illegal dirt road ripping through protected areas in the Brazilian Amazon is now just a few miles shy of connecting two of the worst areas of deforestation in the region, according to satellite images and accounts from people familiar with the area. If the road is completed it will turn a large area of remaining forest into an island, under pressure from human activity on all sides. Environmentalists have been warning about just this kind of development in the rainforest for decades. Roads are significant because most deforestation occurs alongside them, where access is easier and land value higher. On the east side of the new road is a massively deforested area where Brazil's largest cattle herd, 2.4 million head, now grazes. This municipality of São Félix do Xingu is the country's second largest greenhouse gas emitter, thanks to deforestation, according to Climate Observatory, a network of environmental groups. It is roughly the size of Maine and has a population of 136,000. Wedged in between is the Xingu Basin. The Xingu River that runs through it is one of the main tributaries of the Amazon River. It begins in the drier Cerrado biome, surrounded by tens of thousands of square miles of protected areas. The Xingu River is home to several indigenous peoples, who are now pressed on both sides by an onslaught of settlers who have built a large network of dirt roads and illegal airstrips. Experts said the stakes could not be higher. The opportunities for new deforestation in the center of the corridor of protected areas of the Xingu brings the risk of an irreversible breaking of the Amazon rainforest, dividing it into islands of degraded forest, which does not have the strength to resist climate change. We need to protect and maintain large forest corridors to sustain the resilience of the threatened biome, Viviani Rojas, the program coordinator of Socio-Environmental Institute a Brazilian non-profit, told the Associated Press. Number 2. Pakistani court bars police from arresting ex-Premier Khan. A Pakistani court on Thursday extended former Prime Minister Imran Khan's protection from arrest through the end of the month, officials said, after police filed terrorism charges against the country's popular opposition leader. The decision effectively shields Khan from arrest until September 1 over accusations that during a speech last weekend, he had threatened police officers and a female judge, remarks that triggered the terrorism charges. The decision also temporarily alleviates concerns of violent clashes between police and supporters of the former premier. Khan has been leading mass rallies and seeking early elections since he was ousted in April in a no-confidence vote in parliament. The government says elections will be held as scheduled next year. Outside the anti-terrorism court on Thursday, Khan told reporters that he had never threatened anyone. He also said the terrorism charges against him were politically motivated and that Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif's government fears Khan's growing popularity. Number 3. Macron on Algeria visit says painful past came in the way of looking to the future. On his second visit to Algeria, French President Emmanuel Macron on Thursday reiterated a commitment to building a better bilateral future between France and its former colony, saying a painful common past has at times prevented us from looking to the future. Speaking in Algiers shortly after arriving for a three-day visit, Macron expressed the hope that France and Algeria would be able to look back at the past with humility in order to establish trust and cooperation in the future. We have a complex, painful common past and it has at times prevented us from looking at the future," said Macron. He said a joint committee with historians from both Algeria and France will be set up to study the archives on both sides on the colonial period, promising unfettered access to documents. For his part, Algerian President Abdelmed Tebeban said Macron's visit was an opportunity to re-energize a cooperation and partnership between the two countries. The first French president to be born after Algerian independence, Macron is hoping to lay a foundation to rebuild and develop a sometimes difficult relationship with the North African nation, his office said. Accompanied by seven ministers, Macron arrived at the Houari Balmedin airport in the capital Algiers, where he was received by his Algerian counterpart. The two heads of state visited a monument on Thursday to martyrs of the country's war for independence, which ended more than 130 years of French colonial rule with Algeria's independence in 1962. Franco-Algerian relations have seen repeated crises since then.
Thank you for watching all that happens. Remember to like and subscribe. And we hope to see you next time.